going down you too what's cracking what's cracking be back today on a on a cool one man shit just got off of work you feel me been working hard that's why i've been posting a lot of videos for you guys i apologize about that but today <clears throat> we got a good video coming up we got a video coming up from theicegiant.com my all-time favorite fucking company because well, you know, they've been rocking with me since I started this fucking YouTube channel. Actually, let me fix that. Let me correct myself. I've been rocking with Ice Giant since the very beginning. So much so, indeed, that I actually created a YouTube channel just so that I could show you guys all the shit that they got going on on their website. It was just so, so up to fucking par with any other jewelry that I've ever dealt with that I had to make a YouTube channel to show the world what they had to offer. Now, with that being said, let's roll this shit up, man. We got a fucking video today coming to you guys from the Ice Giant, baby. IGT.com. The IGT.com. Now, before I made this purchase, I was looking around all over YouTube trying to find a video on this specific piece that I had ordered. <clears throat> um, I hadn't seen anybody post a video of it. It's supposed to be, I believe, a 5 millimeter diamond cut rope chain with a moissanite barrel sleek lock clasp. I think I said that right. Uh, and uh, so I was like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Something I can wear to work, not worry about fucking up too bad, you know, and look good doing it. So <clears throat> that being said, I'm about to open up this package. I haven't opened it up yet, but my address is blasted damn near all over it. So still fucking obviously, you know, closed up. I just got it actually today. I paid for the express shipping. I ordered this package, I want to say on Wednesday. Now it's an on, on bullshit. And I ordered it on Monday, and today is Friday. So Labor Day weekend, baby, coming up. Everybody stay safe out there. Don't fuck around too hard and get yourself in some trouble. So I'm finna open this thing up for you guys. All right, all right, all right. Open up the DHL packaging. I feel like that's all they ship out with. That's everything in there. And of course, you're gonna get this black envelope bubble wrap pouch to keep this thing safe from getting all banged up and shit because this shit came from overseas so uh let me open this thing up that was easy typical this is literally what it always shows up on now if this is going through customs i could imagine the motherfuckers in here like what's up in here you know what i'm saying it's kind of kind of weird it stinks it didn't smell good uh anyways Open this thing up together. <clears throat> My cat's going crazy. Right off the bat, when we open up this package from digt.com, you're gonna get that complimentary gift bag that I've said this. Be <laughs> I've said this plenty of times on every video whenever I got a package from him. This goes great if you're giving this this thing away to somebody. Say you purchase this for your brother, your sister, your mom, your loved ones, anybody. This is, this is great. This goes perfect. The only thing it needs is that paper wrap and that's it, man. I love that they do that, but Ice Giant, to save you guys some money, I know this isn't cheap. This is good quality shit. I suggest not throwing this in every single one of your guys' orders. I say the best thing is, is to add an option in your, right before you purchase this and, and, and add the bag for like $2.95, $3, you know, it ain't gonna fucking, I feel like you guys need to do that just to save yourself some money. I know you guys are doing it for the people out there that's purchasing your shit, but <clears throat> you guys are already situated. I mean, you don't got to do all that. We appreciate it, though. And then we're going to open up this fucking bubble wrap. And, of course, in this bubble wrap, you're going to get the pouch that it always comes in. Everything that you get usually comes in one of these, a bigger one or kind of like a horizontal one. So we're going to open this thing up. You guys got to see it first. I lied. You got the complimentary cleaning cloth, baby, from the Ice Giant. Y'all seen it first. Now, shout out to Cali Creamin. Bro, this beer is my, fa my favorite beer. <clears throat> if you guys know me, y'all know I love drinking beer. I'm a beer drinker. I'm a beer connoisseur. And uh, this is the best beer I've ever had so far, man. Shout out to my boy, Drew. One of my coworkers I work with on the pipeline, man, he, he put me on these for sure. Homage to my boy Drew. Appreciate you, big dog. This shit is the best. Anyways, moving on. Now, <laughs> this shit's funny. <clears throat> Looking at it from the from the 
very beginning, I can tell you guys right now, this shit is, is, is shining. It looks legit. I had to wear my clear glasses today so I couldn't, you know what I'm saying, get thrown off with some dark shades, you feel me? But this thing's got some fucking weight. I'm, I'm almost thinking about pulling out that scale. Hold on. I'm going to get this scale ready. All right, we're going to open it up. Nice. I'm going to do a comparison with a real gold piece just so that you guys can get an understanding of what it looks like side by side compared to a real gold piece. Now this is silver. Base metal on here is silver 925, but it's gold plated with, I wanna say 14 karat to 18 karat gold plating. Now I know they go through a five times bonding coating process. So I know that this shit's gonna, it's gonna last. It's Italian made also, I read on the website. And you know them Italians, they go hard with their gold plated shit. That shit does not fade. But I'm gonna put this thing to the test, cause you feel me, I'm gonna be wearing this shit at work every day and grinding beads and fucking welding and all the shit that I do, it's gonna fuck this thing up. So we're gonna put it through that torture test while I'm at work and I'm gonna do an update video for you guys at home to see. If you're thinking about making a purchase, you wanna know that this thing's gonna last, right? From the very beginning, I can tell you guys this thing is I absolutely, this thing looks and feels absolutely 100% authentic gold. Like no one's gonna know that this isn't gold, solid gold. This this feels solid. No rough edges. Everything is absolutely smooth. Now is it diamond cut? Kinda. So if you look at the if you look at the the rope, you can see that there's kind of like that diamond cut look to it, and it's like a four row or a six row rope pattern. It's a little stiff. It's more like a Peruvian link almost. So I wouldn't suggest trying to bend the fuck out of it because I feel like it could break. But uh, besides that though, I'd give it like an eight, seven and a half out of 10 for the feeling, of, for the sturdiness, I want to say, right? Now the cosmetic part for a rope chain, I wish I still had one of my ropes. I got a little two millimeter white gold rope there. I guess we'll try to compare it. I guess, just for fucking shits and giggles. Now, it looks good. It, it, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, right? I give it like an eight and a half out of 10. But I haven't worn it yet. I don't know what it looks like on chest. I can tell you right now that this thing is fucking heavy. So we're gonna put this on a scale. I just wanna, I just wanna see what it weighs. I think I got this in 24 inches. It might be 22. I can't even get this thing on this little baby ass scale. Bro, this thing is 55 grams. <sighs> this thing weighs as much as my Daniel Jewelry and Cuban Link and 10 carats. Literally about the same. That's fucking impressive. I giant. You guys did a great fucking job when it comes to weight because you don't want to wear something light that someone's like, oh shit, can I see that? Me personally, I don't let motherfuckers put, put their hands on me like that, but I know a lot of people out there are buying this shit, they're gonna be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Someone's gonna come like, hey, oh, it feels fake, you feel me? Well, this right here does not fucking feel fake at all. Does not look fake at all. I'm gonna put it side by side next to a real piece that's real solid gold just so you guys can get an understanding. Now this is 10 karat, it's a little more fucking lighter yellow. This is a darker yellow because I believe it's an 18 karat gold plated piece. This is a solid, this is a plated piece. You guys can see them side by side. Can you guys see the difference? Hope you guys can see that, man. This camera does a horrible job at focusing. But one of them, so I wear that Cuban link every fucking day, no matter what I do. 
I take it everywhere, bro. I go on the boat, saltwater fishing, the salt chews the shit up pretty good. I wear it to work every fucking day. I don't take it off. I fall asleep with this thing on. So yeah, the, the, the gold is definitely not up to par with this brand new piece that I just got from Ice Giant, but I wanna say, it's not good, why is it doing that? Oh, I'll give some down thumb down for this shit, but it, yeah, I fixed it. Um, It's not up to, this is way shinier, cause it's brand fucking new. Like I said, I'm gonna do an update video on it, but this is more of a gold rich, richer, darker color, like an 18 karat gold. Which is, I believe, what they put on here. But, dude, my nails are fucking dirty. I promise you guys I'm fucking... I should already clean my hands and shit. I'm a construction worker, baby. Hard to keep my hands nice. But, uh... I fucking hate these things, man. That was a good bite. Damn. Barrel seat lock. Backside. Front side. On the back side, you're going to get the Moissanite diamond carrot count, like always. All right. <clears throat> My bad about that shit. This thing fucking took a shit on me. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm back to what I was talking about. Talking about the... The back of this barrel seat lock and everything very yellow in color i like that looks like an 18 karat gold piece i am gonna tell you right now i've had gold plated italian links before they tend to fade out and look more natural and more realistic as they get as they age which is usually the opposite of what fucking happens but that's good so i can tell you guys it'll start to look more and more authentic as i wear it but that's just high hopes, right? So, to open up this barrel sleek lock, it feels very sturdy. Pinch both of these, it slides right out like a legit barrel sleek lock. Hear that click? Do it for you guys again. Good click right there. I'm gonna put this thing on for you guys. Let's tell me what it looks like. Me personally, I like to show the clasp. So, the clasp is gonna be good. Let's tell me what you guys think, how it looks. This was gonna look on y'all. If you guys like to wear this, some, some of these rope chains, man. I personally used to love rope chains, man. But ever since I got into the Miami Cuban links, I just stopped fucking with ropes. Cause man, these handmade Miami Cubans are just the way to go, man. That's just my per personal preference. But if you guys fuck with my channel, you, you know that I'm fucking spitting facts for you guys, man. I'm trying to tell you guys what to buy so you guys don't get fucking bamboozled. This is the solid one, right? The fucking sturdy. Should have cleaned it. Would have been better. You go. I'm not even gonna lock in the figure eights. I just want you guys to get a comparison. This is 24 inch. This is 22 inch. Obviously, one is lighter in color because it's 10 karat. This is 18 karat. So that's what it looks like on comparison. This thing's actually very fucking dirty and very scratched up from work. Shouldn't mistreat shit like this, right? But I do anyways, I don't give a fuck. You buy these things to wear these things. You don't buy these things. It's like buying a nice car, right? Like, I just recently bought a new car. And then my, my mom's like, well, you don't drive it. You know, I love you, mama. But it's like, I bought this car to drive it, mama. You feel me? I'm not going to buy it to look at it when I come home. Like, I'm driving this thing, right? So same goes with my jewelry. I buy this jewelry because I'm going to wear this jewelry. I'm not going to just let it sit. You feel me? So... Anyways, man, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you guys are thinking about making a purchase with DI Giant, let them know I sent you guys, man. That shit means a lot. It helps me get more videos wrong for you guys in the future. And I'm going to do my absolute best to get two videos out for y'all a month. Right now, it's very hard for me because I'm working like a fucking real Mexican. I'm working. I'm working hard, man. And very proud to be what I am. So I fuck with it, man. Got to represent for La Gente out there, baby. But... Thank you guys for tuning in, man. This shit means a lot to me that you guys are still rocking with the kid. I know I haven't been posting like I used to, but I promise you guys during the wintertime, I'll be rolling these videos out like a motherfucker. Anyways, man, you guys have a very blessed Labor Day weekend. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and beyond, don't get, don't get in trouble, don't drink, don't, don't drink and drive. Drink for Shirley, get an Uber, 
figure out a way to get home. Leave the keys at the house, man. Stay blessed. Take care, everybody. We out.